Okay, so today we're at the Living Smart Festival and we're basically promoting the tiny house and fundraising. We have a few different things. So we have a nail guessing competition. We have to guess how many nails are in the jar to win the prizes. And we have some honey and lip balm we're selling to raise money as well. How you going? I'm Cade. Um, I'm a motor worker. Uh, and I'm helping out with the tiny house project. Um, building aluminium frames and floors and making sure it's structurally sound. We're building the sections and we'll be able to construct it in one day as you would framing from a, a house. Um, we need to reinforce the bottom of the trailer. And run almost like Barrett's and Joyce straight across, lift up the walls on the roof and then have uh, two side panels which will be folding out on, on gas ruts and create an awning and a floor. So a lot's been happening lately with our tiny house project. We have a trailer here. Yay! Yay! Um, we've made a lino print and printed it and made matching shirts. Um, Mum has also made us these amazing tool belts. So we've made one for both of us and Cade and Ian. Uh, I made this model of our tiny house. Um, so that's like our opening section. We've just been like working on the design as well. It's the middle of the day today. It's been such a fine, sunny day. There's so many people here at the Living Smart Festival. Um, we're just contemplating at this time of the day um, really what's happened so far. And I think in the main it's, it's about a lot of people have come over and shown interest in the girls' idea because they can connect with the idea of a small, containable place to live um, in the short term. But there's most of it's been constructive advice and they really have taken on board the ideas that the girls are uh, wanting to promote. There's been a lot of people who have been like who've been really interested in it and a lot of people have taken the flyers and said that they're gonna come to the festival, which is really great. A lot of people have good ideas of how of like what we can change, which has been kind of tricky as well because we're like we've already finished our design but there's some really good things to think about um, someone suggested putting an outdoor shower solar heated shower which I think is a very good idea I can't really remember what else <laughs> so I think you're putting the bed at this end so that this is the low side so when we're driving there's less wind resistance yeah. then that way also the door is up the high end and the low end will be the end where you're usually just sitting or sleeping on the beds. 